Hey guys, welcome to Allotronics, I'm Gregory. Uh, just a quick update about the uh, BPSK transceiver. I just finished solder the, the components here on the carrier recovery board. This circuit diagram here. This is the carrier recovery. And we can see the BPSK constellation here, the two symbols of the BPSK constellation on the uh, oscilloscope. And we can see that we are transmitting to the carrier recovery. Um, let's see here. Uh, I can uh, turn on here a pseudo random bit sequence here. And we can see that uh, in uh, purple here we have the carrier. And in yellow we have the recovered carrier uh, from the carrier recovery circuit. And we can see that the purple uh, has two edges because it's changing the phase from the uh, 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 modulation. So if I use here a uh, direct sequence 0 and 1, we can see that in the uh, 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 normal mode here on the scope, let's wait a second. Uh, oh man, what the hell, yeah, no, let's see, let's see, we can see here the bit string recovered, okay, yeah, and uh, what I discovered uh, and that I didn't think when I uh, was designing the circuit is that uh, the type 1 detector will uh, recover the carrier at 9 degrees so uh, here we gonna have the carrier recovered with a 9 degree different difference from the uh, uh, um, the signal and this will uh, uh, not work because we need to to coherent demodulate the signal and to demodulate the signal we need to have here a in phase signal and not a signal at 9 degrees. Let's uh, let me take here the um, where's the the block diagram here. Okay, here's nice to see. If we have here uh, at the end of the PLL uh, 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 the phase lock looped of, of the carrier recovery, if here we have a 9 degree uh, phase recovered carrier will not be able to recover properly because when we mix a 9 degrees uh, out of phase signal here we get a, a zero at the output we need to have a coherent zero degree or 108 degree uh, uh, phase relationship between the recovered carrier and the the original signal but with a type 1 detector on the uh, the on the the phase lock loop here of the carrier recovery you, we're going to have here a 9 degree out of phase signal and this will not work so i just soldered here um a, a trimmer cap on the input of this mixer here so i just soldered a trimmer capacitor in this XR gate here that is our uh, uh, um, data mixer is this mixer here so we can just add a little of delay here in the signal to uh, align better uh, the 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 recovered carrier with the signal so we have um, uh, we get we get a better uh, phase um, relationship and you can see here if I change the trimmer we see that the amplitude of the, the bit stream changes. This is very interesting. We can see it on the um, here on the constellation. Yeah. If we change the trimmer capacitor here, the symbols on the constellation get closer. So this is worse. We need we need the symbols to get very uh, uh, very apart here, like this. So we improve our signal to noise ratio because if even if you have a, a carrier that is perfect in lock with the the original signal, a recovered carrier that is perfect in lock with the original signal, but when we mix down 
to get the bit stream. We can lose all the signal here if the phase is not correct. So we need to get a proper phase on the output bit stream mixer here. That is this XR gate here. And we can see that it works really nice. Really, really, really nice. And we can um, disable the input signal. Now we have noise on the constellation because we do not have care here, so we do not have data. This, this is beautiful, man. Look at this. Here, noise, white noise. If I turn on the care here, now the care recovery locks and we get the bitstream and the output. Very nice. And actually, we can uh, you can see that what's entering these uh, circuits here is the uh, care here signal here. As it comes, let me go here. As it comes from the the front end, and also 3.85 meg channel uh, channel two, channel three in the transceiver, and also the uh, mixing IF 13.85. So here we have the cast code mixer. The section here uh, on the top of the circuit is uh, this mixer here that mix the input signal from the front end with the IF and at the output we have the 10 meg centered signal so let's see here this trace here yeah this trace here is the 10 meg output from the mixer that enters the this XOR ship here and that point is where we start to uh, recover the care here. So the, up, the upper part here, the top part, this top part here of the circuit is the mixer. And the first XR gate is a linear amplifier. It's working as a linear amplifier. And the next gate is the, uh, uh, the, the squaring of the signal. So the nine degree phase shift and the mixer here that we are using to square the signal is this uh, uh, RC delay here with another XR gate. The XR signal will go to the phase detector of the VCO here. As we can see here, we have uh, the, the output going to the phase detector. The VCO, the dividers here, we have uh, the VCO, the divided by two, the divided by two closes the loop on the phase detector, we can see here, and we have the other divided by two to mix, uh, to, to, um, to recover the bit string here. That is the other flip flop here, and we recover the bit string here. And here is where we need another delay, another adjustable delay, to align the recovery carrier with the bit string. This is very important. So guys, I'm very happy, it's very beautiful to see the bit string on the analog scope here. Very nice. So let's work, see you in the next video.